At 400 horsepower and 1,450 pound-feet of torque, the natural gas-powered Cummins Westport ISX-12G should perform as well as any medium-displacement diesel engine. If that's the case, dropping it into a well-crafted regional chassis like this Cascadia 113 should have drivers fighting each other for a chance to drive one. I'm about to take one out for a spin to see if the reality is as good as the promise. Jim Park here, freelance trucking journalist and test pilot extraordinaire. I'm in the Napa region of California, about to take this Cascadia 113 and its ISX 12G natural gas power plant on a test drive to see if it measures up to all the hype. Our test course gives us a number of driving scenarios from urban stop and go to two lane to interstate, and even a few decent pulls on a good sized hill. We begin the test drive cycle in Yountville, California. We travel about five miles south on Highway 29 into the town of Napa. There we run through town dealing with traffic, stoplights and all that stuff. And then we circle back into Yountville on Big Ranch Road, which is a lovely little two lane with a few gentle hills and curves where we can evaluate the steering and handling of the truck. From Yountville again, we follow 29 back south through Napa over to Highway 12 and follow it down to Interstate 80. Route 12 is more of a highway than Big Ranch Road, but it's not an interstate, so it's representative of a lot of the mileage the regional day cab will see in its lifetime. On Interstate 80, we run the test down the hill into the town of Vallejo, turn around at Tennessee Street and head back east again up the hill to Red Top Road. We turn around again and head east to the rest area at the top of the Hunter Hill, where we reset the cameras and get set to do that loop a few more times. Hunter Hill isn't a killer, but it gives engines and engine brakes a decent workout. Two things struck me almost immediately as I began driving through traffic in the town of Napa. How quiet the engine is and how tame it is underfoot once I figured out how to handle it. Natural gas engines do not use fuel injection. Instead, the intake air is mixed with natural gas some distance from the cylinders, so it takes a moment for the fuel to travel from the mixing module into the combustion chamber. In that time, which is maybe half a second or so, your inclination is to keep pressing down on the throttle pedal until the engine responds. By the time the gas gets to the cylinder, you've got a pretty good charge built up so the engine responds with some gusto. Okay, I think the key to a smooth start here is to your foot into the pedal a little bit and then just back it off slightly. That gets the gas into the engine and then by the time it gets there you've backed off so it's not coming on quite as strong right off the bat. So foot into it and then back out just a little bit and uh, nice smooth startup, nice smooth launch. And it's very quiet compared to a diesel engine. That's a real bonus at the end of a long work day. Over the narrow two-lane Big Ranch Road, the Cascadia handles like the family sedan. Lane position is intuitive and the steering is firm but not hard. It holds the corners really well, which makes negotiating a winding road like this one a lot more fun than hard work. Visibility in the cab is second to none, which is really important in a truck that spends a fair bit of time on city streets. The Allison transmission frees up the driver from the stress of shifting while keeping the engine at its most economical range. Because the cab is so quiet, drivers will be aware of a couple of strange sounds that natural gas engines make. They are normal, but not found on diesels. The first is a chuffing sound. Freightliner says it's the sound of the air pressure equalizing in the air intake system after the turbo has delivered a high pressure charge of air into the engine. It's usually heard when you take your foot off the throttle pedal after a bit of a pull. The other sound is the engine surging or idling a little high for a few seconds when you stop. Nothing to worry about here, Freightliner says, just one of the idiosyncrasies of natural gas engines. So let's head over to the Hunter Hill on Interstate 80 to see how this 400 horsepower, 1450 pound foot engine does under a load. We've got a few other videos about the natural gas powered Cascadia 113 to watch as well. One of them is a walk around tour of the truck and a couple that explain the advantages of natural gas fuel and the differences between natural gas and diesel. Be sure to check them out as well on our YouTube page, Today's Trucking One. In the meantime, I'll catch you out on the hill in part two. For Today's Trucking's Ultimate Test Drive, I'm freelance trucking journalist Jim Park. Be safe and keep your revs down.